Hi all, you're watching Hitman Tutorials and today I will show you how to make halftone effect and make it a vector. So there are two main ways to make a vector halftone effect and I will show you the both uh, but I prefer the second one, uh, the one that you uh, make to look like this. So the first way to get the halftone effect is to make some object in gradient, make it a gradient and the inner part of the ellipse has to be black and the outer part has to be bright white. Okay, so you can reverse the gradient and get something like this and you can play with it. So uh, right now you have to go and uh, choose the effect and go to pixelate and color halftone. All the channels have, uh, have to have the value 120. So you click OK and you'll get halftone. So this is a uh, big uh, dimensions for, uh, for this. So I will make it smaller and this, uh, this is more this is more like it. So if you want to make this vector, you have to go to object and expand appearance, then go and choose live trace or image trace. But when you, uh, when you do this and you choose black and white, uh, you'll see that this is, uh, this is far from a precise vector based halftone effect. So you can uh, you can change these settings, but uh, it, uh, it won't uh, be real or vector and precise halftone. So uh, this is an uh, inaccurate way to get precise vector based halftone. So the second I prefer the second way, and uh, it is. Uh, a uh, little bit complex, uh, but uh, you get the uh, desired halftone. So, this is the other way. You draw a circle, ellipse, and you copy it by holding the Alt and Shift and moving right about here. This ellipse, you make it smaller. Then choose both ellipses. So uh, pick an object, click on blend and blend options. Uh, right here you can choose uh, how many steps you you do when making a blend. So uh, let's say we we make uh, six steps and uh, click OK. Then go to object blend and click on make. So we made some blending, but uh, it's far from uh, finished. Now you hold Alt and Shift and just move it right here to copy. And you press Ctrl D to copy to make it look like this. So this is the first part, the second part. You select all these objects, click Ctrl C, Ctrl F, then move holding the shift like this to intersect, then holding Alt and left click, you do like this and you, sorry, Then just holding the shift again, make it look like this. Okay, this is the setup for the half tone, and uh, now you just pick the color. Let's say it will be the orange, and uh, then you choose the the object you want to make it in half tone effect. Let's say we want to make uh, ellipse uh, in half-tone effect. 
just holding the Alt and Shift, you make it like this, and uh, choose uh, to outline just to look to have a color. Okay. Uh, now you position it where you want. You can align it in the middle, and then selecting all the objects, right click and click on Make Lip Mask. You may halt on effect for ellipse. Uh, this can be used for any kind of uh, object. Uh, anything you draw, you if you make um, outlines uh, out of the text, uh, you can make uh, text in halt on effect. This is just the principle to use uh, for making the halt on effect. This is more precise uh, if you uh, compare it with the other way uh, for um, making. Uh, uh, making uh, the object raster, then uh, trace it. Uh, this is more precise uh, for me. It is, it is uh, more efficient and uh, looks better. So I hope this uh, helped you make the half tone effect uh, and uh, made uh, drawing a lot easier for you. So let's see in other tutorials.